We're at the Ohio-Pennsylvania border at the Keystone Welcome Center, but not everybody is welcome here. This is the emerald ash borer, an invading beetle from Southeast Asia that attacks ash trees, killing them in just a few years. And this is Pennsylvania's first line of defense. My name is Sven Eric Spieschiger. I'm the entomology program manager with the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Spieschiger is in charge of protecting Pennsylvania from invading insects. Yeah, I have lots of nicknames. I'm the guy you've called after it's too late, as case in point here. Uh, Mr. Doom and Gloom, I've been called at, at talks. He's here to investigate a new sighting. This is the second confirmed ash borer occupation in Pennsylvania, and all the trees here are under attack. This isn't even a horrible situation. The borer was first spotted in Detroit, Michigan in 2002. Since then, it's killed 30 million trees. And in Pennsylvania, ash trees are a valuable commodity. It is actually used for something. It's used for our baseball bat industry. And uh, there's a couple companies that are, unfortunately, they're really sweating it. And they've been on top of this since the beginning. So they've been doing their job. And so it's up to us to try to do ours. Part of the job is to find new ash borer infestations and quarantine those areas. Survey crews are checking sticky traps like these for ash borers but you can see signs of infestation in the trees, too. In an attempt to try to save itself, the tree will put out what we call epicormic shoots, and these can be very telltale. Another sign is chewed or notched leaves. If you see all the other signs and symptoms and you see this, there's a good chance you have emerald ash borer. But they need to do this to mature. They'll mate. The female will lay eggs in the bark crevice of a tree, okay? And the eggs will then hatch out and the larvae will immediately bore underneath the bark. The larvae are eating the tissue between the bark and the hardwood. We call it the, the phloem. What it does is it, it helps move nutrients down from the leaves and water up from the roots and basically allows the tree to complete photosynthesis. This disrupts that cycle. Here's one here. Here's one. This is an ash borer larva. It hatched in the tree and ate its way through the phloem, carving out these curvy paths and it, it kills it, kills it dead. And you can see there's quite a few of them at work in here. So is there any hope for stopping its spread? Oh, I suppose there's always hope. It's hard to control the bug once it's found. There is an approved pesticide, but it's expensive and it doesn't always work. The other hope might be predatory bugs that attack and kill the ash borer, but that could be decades away. Um, the other thing people can do is, uh, first and foremost, not move firewood around. Uh, that really helps us to do our job and, and helps to stop from spreading not just this, but other things. Spieschiger was just upstate, near where the ash for baseball bats is grown. Our best ash reserves in the state are in those two counties. I just was camping at Leonard Harrison State Park. I was surrounded by 40 ash trees in the campsite, and the entire stand next to me was ash trees. When this gets there and wipes through, they will all be gone and it'll be a field. Let's hope we can sort of stave it off long enough for something to catch up. But uh, it, it looks grim right now, at least with this best. For Science Friday, I'm Annette Heist.